Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a drop down list within a Google Sheets using something called data validation. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, from time to time, we are sharing Google Sheets with students or colleagues and we don't want them to just randomly type in their own answers. What we want to present them with is a drop down list of optional choices. So they can either select yes or no, or they can select any of a number of choices. Now the way to set this up is fairly straightforward. Let's start by opening up a Google Sheets. Now I'm going to open up a blank Google Sheets. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge my first column. Now I'm going to type a question here. I'm going to say, what is your favorite animal. Now we all have favorite animals, but what I want to do is I want to link this to a storybook and let's say there were only four animals in that storybook. Well, the choice of answers I want them to use are either going to be a dog, a cat, a fish or a bird. Now what we can do is we can do this using data validation. Now before we can make this work, we need to tell Google Sheets what the four optional answers are. So I'm going to just type in the answers. You can type these anywhere on your list. This could even be at the top where you tell your students the optional answers. So the first one is dog. Next we have a cat, fish and bird. So these four answers will become the options. And we're now going to go to where we want them to select that option right click on that cell and at the bottom you will find data validation if you can't see it there you can go to the menu at the top where it says data and then select data validation we're going to do that now there we go we're going to use the data validation and we are going to select our criteria from a list of a range now you can also choose any of these other options but because we've typed out our range we're going to select our range right here once you've selected that, click on OK, and these will now become our four choices. Now, before we click on OK, we have to make sure that we tick this box, which means it's going to shop a drop down list in the cell. If you don't do this, you won't get that drop down list and it'll just give you an error when you're trying to input something that is not part of these four. We can show a warning or we can just simply reject that input. I'm going to show a warning and then I'm also going to add some help text click and enter a value from the range seen at the right. You don't have to add this, this is optional, but again, when you're using large data sets, this can really help for your users to understand what you're expecting. So let's go ahead and click on save. We now have a drop down list. And as soon as I click on that, we have those four choices here. Now, one of the big benefits of using that range instead of manually typing everything in is that we can change it. So you can see I've used capitals for all, I'm going to change that and I'm just going to, let's say a lowercase for dog and a lowercase for fish. Now, as soon as I've completed that, when I go back to my drop down list, this is represented in my list. So I can change it and I can even change the different values after setting up my data validation. Now, let's say that you want to have this across the entire column. Make sure you've highlighted your cell and then navigate to that little square in the bottom right corner. So this little square in the bottom right corner, is going to allow you to pull this down and apply that same validation across the entire column. So you can see in each of these, we can have that drop down list. Now for even more tips and tricks on Google Sheets, click on the playlist at the top or watch my suggested video at the bottom. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.